Hello everyone, welcome back to Personal Defense YouTube channel. This is Ronak Meroy. In my earlier videos on the best debt mutual fund series, I explained three best liquid funds for 2024 for a short term investment horizon of three months to a year and banking and PSU debt funds if you have a longer horizon of two to three years. I have shared the link of, the, of both these videos in the description box below. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the best corporate bond funds, another subcategory of debt mutual funds, if you have an investment time horizon of 2-3 to three years. It can be considered as an alternative to bank FDs. Alright, so let's get started. Before I elucidate which are the three best or top performing uh, corporate bond funds for 2024, let's understand some basics first. What are corporate bond funds? This subcategory of debt mutual funds is mandated to invest a minimum of 80% of their assets in highest rated corporate bond instruments. Corporate bond funds predominantly invest in AA and above rated corporate debt securities. There is no limit or restriction on the maturity profile of the corporate bonds, but typically they are in the range of 2-3 to three years. The fund manager of a corporate bond fund considers a host of macroeconomic factors particularly interest rates and yields for the portfolio duration. That said, corporate bond funds have moderate sensitivity to interest rate changes. An uncertain and rising interest rate scenario could make them vulnerable to fluctuations. But when interest rates are stable and are falling, they stand to potentially benefit. In times when we seem to be near the peak of the current interest rates upward cycle, corporate bond funds are conceivably a sensible choice for your portfolio. But it would do best to stick to corporate bond funds that hold AA and above rated corporate debt securities that is prefer safety, some sovereign rated government securities GSEX and money market instruments rather than the ones engaging in yield hunting to generate exceptionally high returns. Now let's understand what is the investment objective of corporate bond funds. Broadly, the primary investment objective of corporate bond funds is to generate optimal returns with high liquidity through active management of the portfolio by investing in high quality debt that is AA and above rated corporate bonds, debt securities issued by central and state governments and money market instruments. However, there is no assurance or guarantee that the investment objective will be realized. Now coming to the question, are corporate bonds funds safe? Well, there would be some level of credit risk and interest rate risk depending on the underlying portfolio of the corporate bond funds. Hence, they cannot be considered as safe or risk-free, like in the case of FD with a robust bank. Take a look at this risk return graph of debt mutual funds. As seen in the graph here, on the risk return spectrum of debt mutual fund schemes, corporate bond funds are placed somewhere between short duration funds and credit risk funds. Given that, there have been instances such as the RNFS episode and defaults of, on bonds by DHFL, Yes Bank, Reliance Attack Group companies and many others. You need to be careful when choosing corporate bond funds to invest in. Now coming to the question, how to choose the best corporate bond funds to invest in? You need to look further than the past returns as they are not indicative of how the scheme will perform in the future. Similarly, you can't base the decision looking at mutual fund star ratings because they aren't foolproof. Read my article on relying on star ratings to pick the best mutual funds. I've shared the link of this in the description box below. You need to evaluate a variety of quantitative and qualitative factors such as the portfolio characteristics, who are the issuers, the sector they belong to, the type of debt papers held, the ratings of respective debt papers, etc. The maturity profile of the fund, the average maturity, yield to maturity, and the modified duration of the portfolio. The risk ratio such as standard deviation, sharp ratio, sortino ratio, etc. to understand if the scheme is adequately compensating on risk adjusted basis. The performance across interest rate cycles, the, the credentials of the fund manager and his team, the AUM and the expense ratio of the scheme. In addition, it would do well to understand the investment ideologies, processes and systems. A mutual fund house must have robust risk management in place and not depend excessively on rating assigned by credit rating agencies. In the endeavor to achieve its investment objective, if the corporate bond fund under consideration chases yields and compromises on the credit quality of the portfolio, thereby jeopardizing the liquidity of the portfolio, you should stay away from such funds. 
Here's a table showing how corporate bond funds have fared across time periods, the level of risk they have exposed investors to as denoted by the standard deviation and the risk adjusted returns generated by them. Now coming to the question, which are the best corporate bond funds for 2024? Considering the parameters to choose the best debt mutual funds, the three best corporate bond funds currently for 2024 are ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund, Access Corporate Debt Fund, Aditya Birla Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund. These schemes hold quality portfolio characteristics with an average maturity of 2 to 3 years. Here are some of the details as to why ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund, Access Corporate Debt Fund and Aditya Birla Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund are among the best in the corporate bond funds category. First, the ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund. Launched in August 2009, ICICI Pru Corporate Bond Fund has a performance track record of 14 years. During its early years, the fund was predominantly positioned as an ultra short term plan with a strong emphasis on maintaining portfolio of shorter maturity instruments. However, after SEBI's mutual fund categorization and rationalization norms, ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund was reclassified as a corporate bond fund. The primary investment objective of ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund is to invest largely in AA plus and above rated corporate bonds while ensuring an ideal balance of yield, safety and liquidity. In line with this objective, the fund holds its underlying portfolio. As regards the rating profile, ICICI Prudential Corporate Bond Fund mainly holds AAA and equivalents that is around 69% of its net assets as per the October 2023 portfolio. Sovereigns are 27% of its net assets as per the October 2023 portfolio and 0.1% are in pass-through certificates of PTCs issued by banks and securitized debt and the rest is in cash and cash equivalents to manage the liquidity needs. The fund managers of ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund resist investing in low-rated or unrated securities. Only in the past month, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund added an alternative investment fund, namely the Corporate Debt Market Development Fund, which currently comprises 0.2% of its assets. The fund holds an average maturity of around 2 to 3 years. Currently, it is 3.76 years and holds a well-diversified portfolio of debt securities. As per the portfolio as of October 2023, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund has 151 securities in its portfolio. The top 10 holdings account for 39.2% of the fund's assets and overall, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund is well managed and has delivered a CAGR of nearly 7% since its inception. On 2 years, 3 years and 5 years returns as seen in the table, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund with a prudent approach to credit risk evaluation and has demonstrated a, re a decent performance track record noticeably better than the Crystal Composite Bond Fund Index. While clocking returns, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund has exposed its investors to fair level of volatility, standard deviation of 1.09, lower than the category average. The fund's sharp ratio is 0.25 and Sortino is 0.40, which outshines many of the prominent peers. Thus, the fund, I would say, has rewarded investors with commendable risk adjusted returns adequately compensating its investors against the risk taken, that is the interest rate risk and the credit risk. As of December 1, 2023, ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund has a YTM of 7.9% and ICSA Prudential Corporate Bond Fund is managed by Mr. Anuj Tagra since March 2020 and Mr. Rohit Lakhotia since June 2023. Now coming to the second one, Access Corporate Debt Fund, launched in July 2017, in over six years so far has displayed a respectable performance track record, seeking to provide steady income and capital appreciation for, to its investors by investing in high quality corporate debt instruments. Access Corporate Debt Fund looks for debt securities for its portfolio that have the potential to offer superior yield at lower level of risk. In line with this objective, Access Corporate Debt Fund invests a predominant portion of its corporate debt, that is 63.9% of its assets as per the October 2023 portfolio. In GSEX, 25% of its net assets as per the October 2023 portfolio. 
and floating rate instruments which comprise 1.4% of its net assets as per the October 2023 portfolio and holds cash and cash equivalents to manage its liquidity requirements. The exposure to debt papers of private issuers such as certificate of deposits, commercial papers and PTCs is not more than 5-6% of its net assets. Access Corporate Debt Fund's exposure to AIF, namely the Corporate Debt Market Development Fund, is mere 0.2% of its net assets, which, is, which it added in the past month. Moreover, the rating profile of the debt securities held in the res is respectable, that is AAA and equivalents and sovereigns. As regards the maturity profile, a predominant portion of the net assets of Access Corporate Debt Fund are held in 2-3 to three years and 3-5 to five years maturity buckets. Having said that, while following an active strategy, the fund invests across short and medium term maturities to take advantage of any changes in the interest rates. Access Corporate Debt Fund holds a well diversified portfolio with current average maturity being around 3.63 years. This makes the fund moderately sensitive to interest rate changes. As per the October 2023 portfolio, Access Corporate Debt Fund is holding around 120 debt securities. The top 10 securities comprise 31.3% of the fund's portfolio. With exposure to top-rated corporate debt instruments issued by both private and public entities, Access Corporate Debt Fund has delivered respectable returns for its investors. The fund's performance is influenced by the coupons and the maturity of the portfolio holdings along with the credibility of the issuers it holds in the portfolio. Since its inception, the fund has delivered a CAGR of 7.3%. In two years, three years and five years returns as well, Access Corporate Debt Fund, by having a prudent approach to credit risk evaluation, has demonstrated a decent track record noticeably better than the Crystal Composite Bond Fund Index as seen in the table. As of December 1, 2023, Access Corporate Debt Fund's YTM is 7.7%, but this may change as the fund manager buys and sells debt securities in the portfolio. Access Corporate Debt Fund has managed risk well to generate returns. Its standard deviation or SD is 1.21 is lower than the category players plus the sharp ratio of 0.16 and Sortino ratio of 0.27 are noticeably higher among the best in the category. In other words, the fund has rewarded investors well for the risk taken. Access Corporate Debt Fund is managed by Mr. Devang Shah since July 2017 and Mr. Hardik Shah since February 2022. The third one. Aditya Birla Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund. Aditya Birla Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund has a long and a distinguished history dating back to its inception in March 1997. With over 25 years of experience, it ranks as one of the oldest schemes in the corporate bonds fund category. Before SEBI's mutual fund categorization and rationalization norms, Aditya Birla Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund was classified as a short term debt fund. As per its new mandate, Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund invests at least 80% of its assets in highest rated corporate bond investments that is AA plus and above. Thus, the fund aims to generate optimal returns with high liquidity through active portfolio management by investing in high quality debt and money market instruments that have the potential to offer superior yield at low levels of risk of credit risk. As far as the maturity profile of the debt instruments is concerned, Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund mainly focuses on investing in short-term maturity debt papers of both public and private issuers. This lowers the interest rate risk to an extent and helps Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund pursue its strategy effectively. The fund manager makes judgment about taking the duration calls based on a variety of macroeconomic factors. Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund holds a fairly diversified portfolio of 169 debt securities across maturity papers as per its portfolio as of October 2023. The top 10 holdings account for 38.7% of the fund's assets. 58.2% of Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund's assets are in corporate debt. 32.9% is in GSEX. 4.4% is in floating rate instruments. 1.3% is in PTCs issued by banks and securitized debt, and the rest is in cash and cash equivalents. Only in the past month, it added an AIF, namely the Corporate Debt Market Development Fund, which currently comprises 0.2% of its portfolio. 
in terms of rating profile aditya billa sun life corporate bond fund mainly invests in triple a and equivalents that is 64% of its net assets as per the october 2023 portfolio and sovereigns which is 20 uh, which is 32.9% of the net assets as per the october 2023 portfolio only a small portion of the net assets is invested in moderately rated and unrated debt securities overall Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund is well managed corporate bond fund since its inception in March 1997 the fund has delivered an appealing CAGR of nearly 9% and has surpassed the crystal and has surpassed the crystal composite bond fund index and the category average returns on 2 years 3 years and 5 year returns during the periods of lower interest rate Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund performed remarkably well and maintain the steady performance even when the interest rates move upwards hence on a risk adjusted basis aditya billa sun life corporate bond fund also fared quite well showcasing a sharp ratio of 0.11 and a sortino ratio of 0.20 which are among the best in the category aditya billa sun life corporate bond fund has a decent ytm of 7.9% as of december 1 2023 Aditya Billa Sun Life Corporate Bond Fund is managed by Kaustik Gupta since April 2017 the co-head of fixed income at Aditya Billa Sun Life AMC overall these three corporate bond funds which i discussed follow appropriate risk management measures and have rewarded investors they are from fund houses that follow robust investment processes and system now let's understand who should invest in corporate bond funds do note that the performance of corporate bond funds is influenced by the credibility of the issuers they hold in the portfolio the maturity of the portfolio holdings and the interest rate movement remember that these funds are moderately sensitive to interest rate changes sharp fluctuations in the nav of the corporate bond funds cannot be ruled out in the short term if interest rate face upside pressure hence corporate bond funds are suitable for investors with a moderate to high risk appetite and an investment time horizon of at least 2 to 3 years now what are the tax implications of investing in corporate bond funds for all debt funds with effective april 1 2023 the capital gain arising at the time of redemption whether short term that is a holding period of less than 36 months or long term that is a holding period of 36 months and above is taxed as per in- investors tax lab the indexation benefit that earlier helped to make the most of the inflation impact on the purchase value of the investment and effectively reduce the ltcd tax liability is now no longer available for debt mutual funds read my article debt mutual funds are now at par with fixed deposit for taxation i've shared the link of this in the description box below for nris the capital gains on debt oriented mutual funds are subject to tax deduction at source at the rate of 10% for ltcd and 30% for stcg if you have in, opted for the dividend option now known as the idcw option for resident indians any dividends from corporate bond funds under the dividend option are added to the investor's total income and are taxed according to your income tax lab that is as per the marginal rate of taxation however if the dividend amount is more than rupees 5000 tax deduction at source will be first done at the rate of 10% for nris the dividend received is taxed at the rate of 20% to sum up this video when you are considering adding a corporate bond fund consider the portfolio characteristics or the past returns or star ratings the future of the scheme hinges on the quality of the underlying assets or the securities in its portfolio be prudent and thoughtful when approaching investments and align them well in line with your personal risk profile investment objectives investment horizon Invest your hard-earned money sensibly, and when in doubt, speak to a SEBI-registered investment advisor. That's it for me today. For more guidance on mutual fund investments and personal finance, subscribe to Personal Finance YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and relatives. Signing off for now. Happy investing. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.